but here locally we only have sunshine and right. such a contrast to yesterday. It's so beautiful out there, Brian. What gives, right? It's our own wacky weather, right? So far, so good. Take a look. There's a beautiful shot, Manley Bay Cam Live. Boy, I love the way that looks. A uh, few clouds in the picture, some fog early this morning for good measure. Show you the latest record coming in. This one's an important one. Watch closely. Oh, only one day now without rain. So there you go. That, that was kind of a joke there. But anyway, uh, let me show you something more important. Look at that. That's our storm total officially seventh wettest 24 hour period. And how about the last time we saw some rain like this? We had to go back to 2012. There you go. Dan Bronis actually went back to find that information out. So props to the team here. Looking it all up, crunching the numbers there. It's the way it looks kind of a more southwestern view and closer in. Don't even have much in the way of clouds at all either, really. So very nice considering uh, what we had yesterday. Actually, like I said, a day and a half, two days worth. If you would have had that in a shorter period of time, it could have been a little more treacherous. But notice all the detention basins, all the washes were filling up nicely like they should. That's why you want to stay out of those. If we talk about rainfall. You don't want to be anywhere near those. Let them let them do their job. You know, those washes, they do a good job too. Transporting the, the rain, the water, it all ends up in Lake Mead at the end of the day anyway. So you, you want it to get out of the way. Uh, mild conditions because we're high pressures building in nicely. You're going to feel the warm up over the next few days. That's kind of the setup. We're actually turning the numbers up a little bit more, not getting outrageous, not quite getting to 70 degrees, but certainly more 60s. And that's well above normal for this time of year. Still, it is still winter. Hard to believe. I know before long we'll say it's spring, but it, the, the, it'll just be kind of melding together with the temperatures. You won't even be able to guess when spring hits. Even through the weekend, I see high pressure holding on to the area. I don't see much change until maybe, maybe early next week. And I'll show you that coming up in the next seven days. So there are some big numbers for tomorrow. Pleasant conditions, upper 50s to lower 60s across the board. Uh, so for the next seven days, we're throwing in those 60s. We're actually even seeing a couple upper 60s come into the picture. Overnight lows have been in the 40s. That's where they're staying, but closer to that 50 degree mark. And so mid to upper 60s really across the valley and uh, some of those warmer spots. We'll see the upper 60s, but I think it'll be as early as next week before we see any sort of change. It might not change the temperatures that much, but we'll add in more cloud cover with another system coming through. It doesn't look like a wet one at this point. So it looks like a dry go of it for the next seven days. So that's pretty impressive. Got most of our rainfall anyway for the year, about a third. So that's, uh, do we need more, right? Back to you guys.